Okay, so today's video is actually very different and it's a topic that me and other YouTubers haven't really Hello? Hello? Hello, my name is Oh! These insurance companies, man. Anyways, sorry about this, guys. This happened in the last video as well. Now, today's topic is uh, mental health in medical school. And it is a topic that me or the YouTubers have not really spoke about um, before or at least in detail. The reason I want to talk about this today is because um, there's been a lot of students that I know um, that I've spoke to who have suffered with this. Um, they went through depression, anxiety, um, and other mental health disorders in medical school. And it is a topic that should be spoken about so that you're aware of like why this is happening and, and how to, to react and how to prevent this from happening as well. And I feel like there's few things. There are there are a few things that I did, um, which prevented me from suffering from depression. I think and anxiety in medical school, and and these are things that I want to talk about with you guys. So, to start off with, I want to give you a few facts. So the f the first thing is, 30% of medical students receive treatment for mental health in medical school. Okay, 30%. That's like. That's, that's nearly one in three medical students who receive treatment for mental health, okay? It is big. And one in 10 uh, suffer from suicidal thoughts in medical school, okay? So it is big. You probably don't know, but only in fourth year have I realized how big mental health is in medical school and how many medical students are on antidepressants or propanolol for their anxiety and, and other medication like I never realized it was this serious until recently so this is why I want to talk about this because I think it's better if people know about this when they're entering medical school so they can be better prepared for it when it does happen to you or your friend another reason I wanted to mention this is because recently we've had a student who sadly passed away committed suicide at med school um, I don't want to talk about the names or what medical school, but I'm, I'm sure you've probably heard of it in the news. Um, and it is quite a hot topic and the GMC um, and the BMA are doing quite a lot about it to prevent this from happening. Okay, so let's break down why this happens first, okay? So imagine you're the top 10%, top 5% of students in your school, okay? And then you get in a medical school, you, you've got this, you're so gassed, you're like, yep, I'm smart, I'm this, I'm that. I'm a medical student, etc. You come in and then you realize there's 400 of you, exact copies of you, 300 exact copies of you. And then you're like, okay, maybe I'm not that smart. Now you are that one in, you know, the hundred students in your sixth form. But now your mind is closed off to this, you know, your friendship group consists of all of these medical students, there's 300 of you and you're all exactly the same or very smart and intelligent just like each other and then you think oh out of these 300 i'm like the 270th i'm ranking 270th in my medical school exams and then you think oh i'm not as smart as um everyone else in the world because you think this is the world you think these 300 medical students are the world you think the intelligence of the world is based off of these 300 medical students that you're studying with and you think that your exam grade is representative of you know yourself and your intelligence but you have to remember these 300 medical students that you're studying with are some of the brightest students in the uk or in your country okay so you performing 270th out of 300 is not a bad thing okay if you take a step back and look at the wider perspective look at it from a different perspective you're still very smart so you know like don't let that put you off and this is the problem okay this is one of the problems i know so many people who have had depression and dealt with anxiety because they can't keep up with everyone else and it's so bad that some people have failed and have, have dropped out of medical school. The second thing is workload. Now, I okay, I struggle with this. I struggle with this in first year. I was like, wow, flipping heck. Like you have e-portfolios, you have your assignments, okay? Like 3000 word assignments to do. You have GP visits that you have to attend. You then have 
15 lectures which are all 40 slides or more long to summarize and then you have your social activities then you have your sports activities that you need to keep up with then you have the gym if you want to go to the gym and and then it's just like you want to visit your family and then it's it's do you know what i mean like am i a human or am i a robot like to keep up with all of these things it's it's difficult you don't have time to fall ill you don't have time for this or for that so this is another thing that that is um, one of the reasons why people struggle is the workload just because the workload is very heavy and there isn't much time to sort of like slack the third thing is professionalism and this is something i struggled with and it's i think i came to grips with it but professionalism is hard for people um who aren't used to it so if you've it's is difficult i need to word this carefully because it's um for for some of you who might have came from like a, a less privileged background um, a more deprived background you're not used to seeing professionalism you're not see, used to seeing professional people what you post on twitter what you post on facebook whether it's private or not has to be professional um what you say what you do the way you behave the way you act um, it has to be professional um, and like even when you step out of line there's you don't get a, you don't get a warning you don't get a second chance just because you came from a less privileged background a family of non-doctors it doesn't matter you still get slapped with professionalism um, and that is quite difficult and that was quite difficult for me um, and it's something that I didn't really want to talk about but I think it is quite important as well and, I'm, and maybe I will do another video on it later on. Um, but that I struggled with um, just because I was trying to be professional but I didn't fully understand what professionalism was or it took me a while to learn how to be professional or professionalism. Um, it's not as easy as people make it out to be. Um, and so that was an issue. That can be a problem for some people and, and they can struggle with that as well. And finally, another thing which um, quite a lot of people uh, suffer from is the inability to cope with failures or bad grades, okay? So if, if you fail an exam, it is not the end of the world, especially considering you're in medical school now, you can reset the exam, okay? It's not the end of the world. And sometimes the exams don't even count. Um, towards your final grade okay so you can reset an exam you can fail an exam it's about how you react when you fail now some people can fail and then their mood just drops and they just go into like depression and and whatnot and anxiety and question themselves and self-doubt and it's just a like roller coaster going spiraling down some people however can fail an exam and then they will reflect and then it's just an upward spiral from there. So for example, I failed an exam in second year. Um, I've made a video about it. I reflected in the video. And then from then on, my grades went from 50 to 55% to 65% to 70%. And it's just been getting higher and higher every year since then. So it's not a bad thing, okay? Like reflection, like failing exam can either boost your grade or take away your grade completely and, and end up and and cause you to you know like have to leave medical school because you're not keeping up with everything okay so i don't want to make this video too long um in the next video i'm going to talk about how to prevent mental health issues in medical school or what you can do to keep sane in medical school okay um thanks for watching make sure you watch the next video because that is the important one um but yeah, bye for now.